everybody once again. Let me make some light in this room. I made it dark. So, welcome everybody. This is an update on our house build here in the Philippines. So finally, I'm sitting in front of a fully functional air conditioning now. The electrician did come by, hooked up power to both of the new units. We had installed, he would just need to come back and um, he's gonna build a box around it downstairs. There's a lot of kids here, so they, so nobody messes with it, tamper with the outside unit downstairs. Because kids got a habit of touching everything here. I don't care if you don't tell them. I mean, if you tell them don't do it, they do. They'll do it anyway. But last night was the first night sleeping in a nice cool room, not waking up sweating. And uh, it's very nice. So we got that done and uh, got a few other projects going on. It's nighttime here. So I was waiting till the workers leave for the day to just go around and point out some of the things they were doing. So here we go. Take a little walk outside the bedroom. Turn some lights on here. So as far as the stairs, they were doing some <clears throat> touch up fine work on in the corners there, plugging in all the gaps, so it's good. I did a little cleaning up this morning just to keep the dust in check and under control. Let's see if I can get the lights down in the hallway. Figure that out. Let's see. Now, in my daughter's bedroom, they are putting up this wall here because this is this is going to be a passage, as I was saying before, that will enable us to go down into the dirty kitchen without having to. At, go outside or well if we didn't want to use the stairs here's a second way and it's pretty good let me try to put some light on the camera to show you the balcony up here what they're doing just a moment so they've started <clears throat> the floor putting down some tiles And this was a mess, so they started cleaning it up. And you can see, I'll do another video in the daytime. It's like a storm is coming in the background there with the lightning. But there'll be a guy here, should be tomorrow or such, that's gonna start with the railing on this upper deck here. We've paid for that already. So that is coming together. So I guess when they finish this wall and finish up some things in the ceiling, this room is gonna be ready. Well, except for the balcony is still to be built. <clears throat> A few things up there, all the electrical sockets. So it's getting there. And in this bedroom here, they installed a power switch right down here, which that will control like emergency breaker. If something happened to turn the unit off, see where the remote control was at. Hmm.
that's one thing here that amazes me. Well, not amazes me. <clears throat> More or less irritates me. See that they hook it to the wall anywhere? Or is it in the bathroom, the remote? Nope. So, I have to find that remote. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> those two units are installed. And um, my wife has, has decided to graciously extend her time here. And the reason she's going to extend her time is so she could really get the house uh, take charge of uh, getting things done you know we've done a lot I leave in another week so I got seven eight days left before I roll out of here actually ten days but um, I tell her she can stay up to a month or have a long she can manage. Of course, staying away from her work too. I would love to travel back with her, but uh, we want to start some of the biggest, some of the big things that are very important. Like, like once they make it so far or however long it takes them to do the railing for the terrace, the next, the next big thing, it's a fence because we have too many people coming in and out of the yard. This is a big house and there feels like there's lots of prying eyes. And I'm sure everybody thinks we're rich, but we're just normal folks, that's all. You know, so that's up my toe her. <laughs> I pretty much gave her like an ultimatum said I'm not paying for anything else until the fence until we decide to do it of course like I said in previous in the previous video here we got some negotiation to do with the neighbors because it's like they're kind of like really sitting on our property you know and we need them to move and <clears throat> they don't seem to be in a rush going nowhere they did say, and I don't like to, you know, spread gossip on the internet. That's not one for me. But you know, it is getting to be an issue. And I'm sure lots of folks building in the Philippines have dealt with it, you know. And I know it's gonna come up. This is a poor family. Hell, I'm poor too. Ain't nobody giving me nothing. It's getting close. It's getting close to being finished. It's a lot farther along than I expected it. And the workers have done a tremendous job since we arrived. Been here 16 days and I've seen things change a lot, which is good. And definitely good having some air conditioning. I woke up this morning going, oh, Oh, that felt great. You know, took a shower last night and uh, just felt so good. Warm, hot, sweating. And with the windows closed, it keeps a lot of the noise down from the traffic because there's always somebody moving around doing something or playing. So, come back again. I can't wait to see the balcony out there getting started that would be good because finally can cut down on some of the dust I want to mop the floors out there and upstairs and downstairs tonight but I don't know if I got the energy because we don't have no AC out there it's very warm but 
do a little sweating, replace it, be cleaner, just trying to do a little bit to keep ahead of the dust. It, it's a fight. Besides, it's like really dusty here anyway because of all of the dirt roads and, and with them sawing and drilling and whatever and sanding, it just tons of dust in the house. We we'll have to get a cleaning team to come in, dust everything down first before we can really start putting furniture everywhere around, just to clean the house first. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So I like to thank everybody for joining me and listening to me, taking time out of your busy day. And as I always say, please come back again. Thank you very much.